Hey, welcome to World Cup 08. I'm Ryan Sexton with uh, BT Paintball, btpaintball.com. Uh, we're here in the Key Action Sports compound, uh, exclusively distributed by Key Action Sports. Uh, I'm going to start today with the TM7. We'll go through some of the markers, end up with our vests, vest accessories, and we'll go through our new line of uh, really, really cool BT clothing. First up, real new to BT this year, we just came out with it in June at Oklahoma D-Day, is the TM7. It's got mini technology inside, so it's an electro-pneumatic marker, super high rates of fire. We'll start it off at the front of the marker. It's actually an auto cocker threaded barrel, just like the Invert Mini is. It's a 9 inch barrel standard. It'll fit up to a 1 inch outside diameter uh, aftermarket barrel, so you can put you know, your uh, All-American Freak, what, you know, whatever you like, goes right in. As you'll see, we got the uh, folding front grip, which is also removable. So you can take it off if you got one you like extra, you can take it off. It's got the Picatinny rail mounted right here, all over the marker. So any of your standard mil-spec Picatinny accessories will fit right on. One of the most noticeable things you'll see about the marker is it's collapsible stock. It's super small. It's ridiculously lightweight ridiculously light so you're going to get all the performance that you would get out of an invert mini or a speedball type marker but you're going to be in this rugged case this rugged body with all your accessories easily mounted yeah, to the marker what you see right here is your fire modes you've got safe which the marker can only be turned on and off in the safe mode once you're live and it's got the dual eyes break uh dual eyes you got your dual ball detents and everything so you can once you're on you can go right through your modes you got semi-auto you got your three round burst and your NXL style full auto so your first three shots are semi and then you go full auto it's really really fun you got your sights your feed neck right up top you got your collapsible stock which pulls right out it's multi-point so you can run either out you can slide it in you can slide it in for you know if you want to run more CQB style and be right up on the marker. <clears throat> I'll show you the bottom of the the marker real quick. Your velocity adjusts right here, and then one of the really cool features on this marker. A lot of the scenario guys don't like the batteries and stuff because you know it takes forever to change it. It's not not a problem on this marker. You slide the battery case open, your battery goes right in. It's even got the little plus and minus, so you can't mess it up. Slide it back, you're ready to rock. The, this gun is ridiculously lightweight. If you like high rates of fire, this is the marker for you. That's the new TM7 from BT. One of the other new markers we got out, fairly new, is the BT Delta. The Delta, this is the Delta here, Delta Elite, big brother. Really cool Delta Elite. First thing, you got your electronic grip. So you got your high rates of fire. To keep up with that electronic grip, you have BT's new rip clip. It's an electronically powered, sound activated loader. It takes your wide mouth A5 style cyclone feed loaders, and it's a spring loaded drive system. Very, very similar to Halo. This is Halo technology inside. So it can keep up with your real high rates of fire with the E-grip. We went with a real uh, MP5 style look on this, simulated suppressor shroud, removable magazine, and this actually has the apex barrel. If you're not familiar with the apex barrel, it's a fully adjustable system which can put a put spin on the ball. You can shoot further, you can turn it, shoot around trees, and it's fully adjustable so you can change the distance that it takes to hook around stuff. You can actually turn it upside down, shoot over the top of bunkers. This is really, really, really cool and it's a must have for the scenario paintballers. We have the Apex barrel available separately so you can fit a variety of markers. This also has the very same uh, sliding stock. All the armature makes it look real, real authentic. That's the Delta Elite. BT Delta, excuse me, the BT Delta. It's a simplified version of the Delta Elite. This marker actually came out first, so it's mechanical grip, and it's a gravity feed setup. You can take the gravity feed off and put the rip clip on it if you like that system. It's got the short barrel. You can take the barrel out and put your uh, 
you can modify it to take other uh, aftermarket barrels. It's got your same collapsible stock as well. One of the other really cool markers for BT this year is the BT ERC. You get your electronic grip frame, you also get your electronic rip clip as well, as well as you get the apex barrel and you get a standard barrel with it as well. So right out of the box, this is all performance. It doesn't have the looks and styling of some of the other markers we have, like the SWAT, the Assault, and the Banshee. Big iron horse up top over here. This is kind of a all performance, none of the looks. So if you just want a you know, real good bang for the dollar on your marker, the BT ERC is definitely, definitely the way to go. Our entry level marker, the BT4 Combat, is at the heart of all of our markers except for the TM7 one I talked about earlier. So basically, this is your, I mean, bulletproof marker, it's a great starter gun, take it out, trash it, throw a little oil in it once in a while, keeps it rocking and rolling. Now that same BT4 Combat is at the heart of all the rest of our markers, like I said, the ERC, the Iron Horse here, BT4 SWAT up top, BT4 Assault, and the BT4 Banshee. You can essentially take your standard BT4 Combat and turn it into any of these markers separately, one piece at a time. New for BT this year is a modular vest system. We went with the Molly style design on all of our vests to uh, make it super customizable for the end user. We don't sell the vest built out or sewn on like some of the manufacturers. You'll be able to take your vest platform I'll go into detail on all of them, but you can take your vest platform, buy whatever accessories you like, and continually change the layout depending on what type of play you might be doing. If you're going out there for you know all day play, you might want to carry 10, 20, maybe 28 pods with you. You can outfit the different vests for that, or if one day you're just running around for an hour or two and you only want to run, let's say, four pods, you can change up your configuration, and I'll go over the accessories here in a minute. This is the static vest run real lightweight it's got your shoulder straps you can put your uh, radio pouch or uh, ID pouches up here on the straps down here you'll see is the weightlifter style belts elastic and velcro cinches down real tight keeps all the accessories that you're gonna put on the back keeps it from flopping around when you're running it's really 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 nice setup we have of course your your uh, webbing here Molly style takes all your standard military type uh, accessories so if you happen to not like our camo accessories, you can go get black, multi-cam, whatever you're into to match your outfit, you can put on this vest. On the inside of the vest, we put non-slip neoprene grip here, so it continually keeps the vest in place. Up here you'll see we put a sleeve for your hydration bladder, because man, when you're out there all day, you need to be drinking the water. You can run your hose up through here and then run it down outside through your your, uh, your shoulder straps. We got the uh, drag handle, good place to just carry your vest around, hang it up to dry, whatever you need. On all the vests we have removable name plates, so you can take your name plane in, get it uh, custom embroidered or you know heat vinyl transfer, whatever you need to customize your vest, put your team name, your call sign, whatever you have. This static vest is available in three different sizes, so you can check out the website btpaintball.com. We have a vest builder, pick your platform, your size, drop, drag and drop all the accessories where you like. It actually keeps a running total with your item numbers and the MSRP pricing. You can print it out right on the website, take it into your local BT Paintball authorized dealer and they can take care of you right there. This is a rigid, rigid platform, kind of like more for your CQB, SWAT style room clearing paintball. It's a real rigid system. You'll see inside that it's molded foam, so it, it uh, takes all the impacts from those up close shots. You see we got our BT logo in here. It's actually real deep groove, so it'll help keep the air flowing through. Adjustable shoulder straps. This is available in two different sizes, and you've got your molly webbing front and the back. You've got your drag handle, 
your customizable nameplate. You got loops down low for your belt and side straps adjustable right here. The big boy of the group is called the Merc Vest for Mercenary. This has got your standard full body coverage for endless configuration choices. You got both sides of your front is completely customizable with full molly. You got snap straps up top. You can tuck your slings in for your markers. We got D rings. You can hook your three point slings to or your bungee slings. On the inside here, you'll see you got the super rugged elastic bungee weightlifter style vest. It holds all the gear in place so the stuff's not flopping around while you're running around on the field. Super, super high quality right here. You'll see hanging from the bottom as well, you have belt loops. So you can take your standard military web belt or whatever belt you like running. You can run it through there for extra stability. It keeps the front accessories from flopping around. We have the uh, web belt available through BT Paintball or you can pick it up at your local surplus store. The back of the Merc vest you can see huge, huge amounts of webbing on this and in between you can see this darker green material. It's actually a uh, venting web material so it actually will keep you breathable, keep you dry, let the air flow through and keep you nice, dry and cool. It's really, really nice, real high quality. You got your drag handle up top, you got your hole for your hydration pouch. Hydration pouch right inside, take your standard bladder, put her in there, run your hose out, and you're good to go. One of the extra customizing features on this is the name plates. You can take, like, uh, if you have your old set of camis when you're in the military, I was in the Marines, I just popped my name plates off for my old BDU jacket, put Velcro on and put them on right there. It's a pretty cool little feature. That's on both sides. Once again, that's the new Merc vest from BT Paintball. Now we went over all the vest platforms, we got all the accessories that we make for them in addition to the insane amount of current molly configuration type paintball specific accessories you can find at other. To start off our vest accessory line, this is the standard two pod pouch. You got your rubber pull tabs, open up, stick your standard 140, 150 round pod right inside. It's got some real, some real nice rubber pull tabs, real strong. It's got some grip molded into it, so it's real easy to reach behind you, grab it, rip it open, no problem. Now to mount these onto your vest, we've got four Velcro and snap straps. A lot of the other companies will use one or the other, either Velcro or snaps. We decided we wanted to go real heavy duty, put both the Velcro and the snaps onto your straps, right there. That's your standard two pod pouch. Step up from there is your two plus three. We put some elastic loops in there so you can add three more pods on it. Still have your same rubber, rubber pull tabs. We actually added some molly webbing onto the, onto the two plus three, which allows you to take additional two pod pouches and you can actually mount them horizontally onto the two plus three to carry uh, extra pods. So that's really, really neat. Your standard Velcro snap strap mount on the back. The big daddy of the accessories is your 3 plus 4. You got three pull tab slots in addition to four elastic loops. And you've got your lock tab so you can pull that down, put it around the tip of your, t your pods and it holds them all real, real snug. Once again, your snap plus Velcro straps on this. We have your standard radio pouch. It holds uh, the majority of your standard Motorola or smaller style little radios with the snaps on the back. On these, since there's not a lot of weight, we didn't need to use the Velcro. So it's just your snap strap up on top. It's made to run real high. We'll hold uh, pretty much your, the majority of the little radios that are out there right there. It's got elastic on the top so it'll stretch over real good. That's your radio pouch. Next up you have your multi-pouch. What this is good for, I mean, Allen wrenches, batteries, uh, you can fit a grenade in here too if you'd like. 
opens up. It's got huge pockets in it. You can put all kinds of really, really cool stuff in this one. It's got a whole nother pocket in there and you can put your cell phone, your wallets in there. It's got two little elastic pouches, little sleeves inside. Really, really versatile pouch there. Next up is your ID pouch. You can slip your uh, your game ID. A lot of the guys have role playing cards and stuff. You can slip it in right there so everybody can see it. Inside, for everybody who runs pistols, we have the slot for your 12 grams or you can use them for your 10 round tubes. It's got your elastic loops. You can slide them right in. And the reason it's Velcro is if you like to run it on the outside, you can take it and you can run it on the outside of the pouch too. Inside opens up. Pretty decent sized pouch. You can put maps, whatever you have right inside. That's your ID pouch. Probably the most versatile pouch we have is the zipper box. It's very, very large. Just one big zipper opens. So just a huge pocket. You can fit a nine ounce tank in there, grenades. We were fitting four or five grenades in there at Oklahoma D Day. So we carry around just tons of stuff. You know, your lunch, if you're going to be out there, a bottle of water, what have you. We also put the molly webbing on the front of these, so if you like, you can take, you know, ID pouch, you can just mount it on there, grenade pouches, we don't have any grenade pouches right now, we're sold out, but you could take your radio, whatever. You get the idea, you can run extra accessories and double stack them to carry just an insane amount of gear. Next up is our universal holster. This will this will hold your standard uh, like Zeus, Rycon pistols, your standard you know uh, PCS USP pistols. Any of the three tube stack pistols will fit right in here. You got lubes for your 10 round tubes and your 12 grams. It's an elastic closure, so it's adjustable for all kinds of different markers. And then on the back, you have your snap straps at different lengths and sizes, so you can really customize where you want it. We also have available, we're out of stock right now, is the tactical holster made to fit the Tiberius pistols. That's a really, really cool pistol holster. And both of our pistol holsters at this time are for right-handed draw only. What's that? I said I was just going to mention yeah. the rip plate. I'll put those last. Brand new accessory out for us. We call it the flash sight. It's uh, made to mount on a spring loaded mount to any of the Picatinny rail type accessories on all the BT markers. It'll also fit like the, uh, the SP1, stuff like that. The reason it's called the flash sight is there's a, the first time you push the button, there's a laser that'll shoot right out of the middle. If you push the button again, it's an LED flashlight around the outside. So it's a combination two and one, the button right on top. You can switch it around, mount it right, left-handed, upside down, however you want. That's the new flash sight from BT. Now we talked about the rip clip on the BT markers. We got a huge demand for the rip clip type feed system for the BT Model 98 markers as well. So this rip clip will snap right on to your standard 98 custom markers and it's uh, once again it's battery powered and uh, it's electronically, well it's battery powered so it's electronically operated, it's sound activated so every time you shoot that marker the loader is going to be loading system keep you from chopping, greatly reduce breaking paint and chopping paintballs. That's the rip clip for the Model 98. New gloves to go along with our new soft goods line. These are the BT Sniper gloves. It's real lightweight. It's got flexible material. It's got screened on silicone logos. And then on the inside, you can see it's got silicone in the palm. So it actually, even if your, your marker's wet or something, it increases grip for uh, not only the palm, but also your trigger fingers up here. So that's the Sniper glove. Real lightweight, really nice glove. Next up is the combat half finger gloves. When we decided to do a half finger glove, we didn't want to do the cheap eight, nine dollar uh, plastic type glove. We actually wanted to give the guys who like half finger gloves a really, really nice product. And if you zoom in, you can see 
This is actually gel padding on your knuckles as well as inside on the palm there's big gel pads so it's really really similar to some of the really expensive features you'll find on uh, some of your high-end speedball gloves. There's some pull tabs here to help you pull them right off. Rubber logo, Velcro closure. It's got a terry cloth material on your thumb so you can get rid of those pesky smudges on your goggle lens or, or uh, you know, so you can see when you're walking off the field if you happen to get shot in the goggles or something. That's the combat glove. This is the new M12 paint grenade from BT. M12, 12 is meaning 12 ounces. And this is the only paintball grenade on the market right now that actually uses real paintball fill as the paint inside the grenade. So the real simple operation on this, you wanna put your finger on the cap, you pull the pin out and chuck it. This thing, you do not have to throw it like you're a, a Hall of Fame baseball pitcher to get this, this paint grenade to activate. Just keep that finger on, pull the pin, a little underhand toss and that's gonna go off. Coats everything, everybody. Got some really new cool hats out for BT. This is the one I use. This is more of, you know, everyday hat. The really cool feature on this hat right here is it's got the removable name tape. I like to wear it when I play. You can put your name tape up there. Everybody will see you and know who you are. Once again, you can find out a lot more details on all these products at btpaintball.com. This is one of the two uh, types of new uh, soft goods playing gear that we have for BT Paintball this year. This is our professional line of gear. You'll see here the main body of the jersey here. It's a, it's a moisture wicking material, very similar to Under Armour. So this will be for the guy who wants to wear a vest and just doesn't like being all sweaty and hot wearing like a BDU type coat. It's very, very flexible. This is jersey is made to be form-fitting, so you don't want to go oversized when you're wearing this jersey. It works better to be more form-fitting. You see zipper neck right here. It's got padding for the zipper as well. The shoulders up here are super padded, so it'll help support the weight of uh, your marker, rifle sling, or your vest. We got some really nice subdued logos here. So if you really, you know, some guys don't like walking around with logos and stuff. It's a woven label that's sewn on. You can pop the stitching and remove the logo if you want to be, you know, a little more uh, cool, I guess, some guys think. On the arm here is a big Velcro area so you can put your unit patch or uh, your Fighting 5.0 patch, BT Warrior online patch. Real cool patches go right there. Zipper pockets so you can tuck maps or, you know, whatever you need in there. We got some uh, really heavy duty elbow padding too, so you don't have to wear extra elbow pads if you want. Real rugged material holds up to all the abuses of paintball. You got a Velcro wrist closure here so you can get it tight, keep stuff from coming up your sleeves. You got your Woodland Digi. All the clothing we did this year and the vest accessories are a Woodland Digi pattern. Works really, really well. We launched it at Oklahoma D-Day. Worked real well with the terrain we had there. Next we rolled out to uh, Skirmishes Invasion in Normandy. Worked really well there too. You can see the back too is that full body moisture wicking material. So this vest is really, really good if you play in hot conditions or you carry a real heavy vest. Keeps you dry, which keeps you cool. Next up is the Pro Pant from BT. We put a lot of effort and a lot of time into the design on these pants. It features a couple revolutionary new designs for paintball pants. One of the first noticeable things you'll see with these, it's a hard rubber knee pad. It's actually built in knee pads on the pants. So you don't have to wear external or uh, extra knee pads underneath your pants. I mean, you can run these things, drop on your knees, crawl around the rocks and the gravel and stuff, no problem. They're held in place by some neoprene Velcro straps that go around the back. Keeps them from going anywhere. The first thing you want to do when you put these pants on, leave the straps loose, use this strap right here to adjust the height of the knee pad before you strap it on. So if you got a real far walk to go, you can actually unstrap and increase some airflow going around your legs and stuff. And then when you get to where you go, strap them right on, two seconds, you're ready to rock. So right here you got your cargo pockets, Velcro, 
fill them full of all kinds of stuff. Your standard almost jean style pant pocket here. The material inside, anywhere you see this green material, it's going to be a venting type material because we try to put a lot of uh, features that will increase airflow, keep you from sweating all the time. You'll see right here you got double snaps, velcro and padded groin protection. We all can uh, appreciate On that. On this pan also you'll find belt loops so you can run your own belt if you like or you have velcro and elastic adjustable straps that go around the back so you really don't have to run an extra belt the pants come fully adjustable as it is my favorite feature on these pants actually is you know most woods ballers they buy one set of gear and they play you know mostly year round so depending on where you live you might be playing in snow in the winter and 100 degrees in the summer well it's kind of expensive to buy more than one set of gear so what we did here is you can leave this zipper you'll see the zipper hanging here you unzip the zipper and it opens up on both hips a whole extra vent panel. So it increases all kinds of airflow through your midsection and keeps you dry and cool. And then in the, in the uh, winter, you know, if you want to keep a little bit warmer, you just zip it right up, no problem. Right next to that, you'll find your flexi swab pocket right there. You know, gotta, gotta uh, carry around a squeegee of some kind. On the back, you got padded neoprene zippers for your back pockets right there. Real nice, real cushioned. Now on the back of the pants, you'll notice, like I was showing you earlier, anywhere you see this green material, it's a venting material, so you keep your airflow going. On the bottom here, you got your Velcro ankle closures. Also, they zip right up. You can pull them on right over your boots. Really cool. That's the professional line of BT clothing, now available. This is the combat line of clothing, now available from BT. This is a really cool vest. This is a really cool jersey. It's made for somebody who wants to, uh, you can run a vest on top if you'd like. You can run a waist pack, two pod pouch, whatever you like. It's more camouflage than the other one, of course. If you, if you look real close right here, we got some silicone um, little logo shields that catches your tank or your, or your stock, holds your stock in place. You got a lot of shoulder padding here, help uh, carry any of the weight, your slinger stuff. Velcro area again, once again for your, your custom unit patches or, or BT Warrior online patches. You got your elbow padding, you got to have some elbow padding in any good jersey. This jersey, the whole design is more lightweight, real breathable, real lightweight, fast jersey. The wrist closures have a spandex material and a thumb loop so you can actually run it without gloves. You just slide your hand in, stick your thumb out the hole, or if you don't like that kind of style, you just run your hand out like normal. It's no problem at all. We've got some padding sewn in right here in the lower waist section. Gives you a little bit of protection right there. More venting materials. You got some real wide open mesh areas to really get some airflow through there, keep you cool when you run around. Probably the coolest feature about this jersey actually is inside you'll find an elastic mesh skirt. Essentially what you do is when you're wearing it you pull the little bungee closed and while you're running around instead of having to try to stick pods back in while you're playing you can just pull your jersey top out, throw your pods down your jersey and actually the mesh net will hold all your pods right here so that when you get back you can just unbungee them, drop them there, refill them instead of having to walk around the field and try to find them. Next up is going to be your combat pants, it's more lightweight pant designed for those guys who like to run around a lot. You got your green panels here, increase your airflow, it's the mesh material I was talking about. You got your neoprene zippered pockets right here. And once again, inside is your mesh material for more venting. You got a Kevlar type material in your knees with some padding. Keeps you protected from those rocks and sticks and stuff. You got a flexible uh, groin area to keep you, keep you comfortable. Once again, you got your green mesh material airflow right through there. On the bottom of the pant, you got a Velcro leg closure. Keep it closed. 
You got big cargo pockets on the side, and we actually incorporated your flexi swab or squeegee pocket into this. So it actually folds right in here and is right there ready to grab it. Once again, neoprene zipper pockets on the back, green venting material down the back. We use the same camo for both lines, so you can completely mix and match pants and jerseys between the Combat and the Pro. You might really like those knee pads on the Pro pants, but you really like this jersey, so it completely matches, no problem at all. This is the BT Combat jersey and pants. This is the BT chest vest. We call it the uh, bulletproof chest protector. It's really, really good for the younger players or uh, you know, people who want just that extra little bit of protection. It's got a lot of real foam padding on there. Wear it underneath your jersey or your BDU coat, whatever you like. Protects you from getting a lot of bruises and stuff. That's the, the BT Bulletproof Chest Protector. We also got a really cool BT hoodie. For you guys who want to rock the BT logo off the field, right there, BT hoodie. It's really nice. For you guys who want to look professional but also be based in paintball, we got your cool BT polo shirt right here. Really, really nice material. I like them. Embroidered BT logo. Then you got your, uh, your battle tested slogan. Embroider right there in the sleeve. So that's your BT polo. A couple things that we don't have out right here at this event. We have uh, on the btpaintball.com website is the new gun builder. I talked to you about the vest builder earlier. The gun builder also is on there. You can completely customize your gun or your vest, completely modify it, hit print, prints you out a complete list of your item numbers. You can take it into your battalion approved store and uh, they'll set you right up with exactly what you got on the website. The website again, btpaintball.com. That's where you're going to find all kinds of cool stuff. We've got all kinds of videos, uh, you know, grenades going off. We've got the gun builder, the vest builder. The full catalog is available on the website as well. Another thing you'll find on there is the BT Battalion. The BT Battalion is, uh, is basically it's for guys who just want to come to events. They might not have a lot of friends they travel with or whatever. You can get on the forums that we got going on BT Warrior Online. You can meet up with people who have the same interests, really want to just have fun and play paintball. You don't have to own anything BT. Just sign up, really cool people, you come hang out, you get supported just like at World Cup here with your VIP areas for battalion members only. You got cold drinks, we had uh, Xbox 360 going on at Oklahoma D-Day, food, drinks, we had a barbecue, Ben Tittman himself was out cooking us some barbecue, really, really cool stuff. By joining, you get a little key card like you would get at the grocery store. What that does, it gets you 10% off MSRP pricing at any of our battalion approved stores. So just by joining, you're already getting a discount. You walk right into uh, the store, you can find them on btpaintball.com, dealer locator. It'll tell you where in your area is a battalion authorized dealer. You go right in, show them your ID card, and you get 10% off. That's all the guns, grenades, the clothing, anything BT, you get 10% off. So go to btpaintball.com, join the battalion, and come play paintball.